hello everybody and welcome to my youtube channel my name is adobe how you're doing hope you're doing great and hope you're staying safe remember to subscribe hit the bell button so you get this five whenever i make a post so today we're talking about i'll be talking about ways in which i intend to improve myself in the remaining part of 2022 so i know we've done january february march april may june and we're left with july august september october november december so we've done first half of the year i want to know what were your plans for the year 2020 because this is the way you keep track of your goals or your achievement what you intend to achieve for the year 2022 so i had my goals for 2022 and right now i'm about to score myself and um i've scored myself and i'm looking for ways in which i can achieve the remaining goals i've set there's more that goals that i didn't even touch at all and that's because of one reason or the other and i've actually looked at it reasons why i did not achieve such goals so and based on that it's going to help me improve myself improve certain aspects of my life i decided to come share that with you so let me know in the comment section um what you think what what's up with your goals have you met any of your goals because the thing is uh, if you don't keep track of these goals of yours you find out that the month just keeps going and then the next thing that ah, 2022 has gone to an end like last month was the one that just just don't do me like wow so we've done six months already in the year 2022 like i can remember january one clearly i can remember how january one went and i remember even sitting down and writing what i intend to achieve for the year 2022 and now we're already in july like july 6 hey <laughs> it's really amazing so i decided to come share with you ways in which i intend to improve myself and the process of improving myself i am most likely going to achieve the remaining goals i've set for myself in the year 2022 i feel this might be helpful to you so i also want to know in the comment section what you also think what are the things you've you actually put in place to improve yourself as well in the remaining part of the year 2022 so come with me as i as I write on, so I had to write it down. So in case you see me looking down, because I wrote them down, I don't forget anything. But I, you know, this thing about um, what you've learned, there's some things you have, I've actually forgotten. But the time I was writing, these were the little ones I remembered, and all together there are eight. So the first is um, stop trying to please everybody. <laughs> see, I see. I know I've like I'm one person that likes to make everybody happy like just be happy like even even if you're slapping me i'll just look at you and i'll walk i don't like trouble that is just me so i've learned that you should not try to as you don't even try to please everybody because if you're trying to please everybody you find out that what you're supposed to do for yourself you will not do it for yourself because you're just trying to make everybody happy at the end of the day you're not achieving what you're supposed to achieve like yes try to make people happy but when it comes to pleasing somebody at the detriment of your own of your own peace or the detriment of what you need then i think you should actually sit down and ask yourself should you really please this person or should you just do you so the second point is stay away from negative people when i say negative people negative things social media so that negative handle in general you see there are some pages you just look at you just be scrolling through and you're like ah, what is this what is really happening like that competition is there usually people that are into business you there's a clip i watched about one i've forgotten her name but it's actually a comedy clip of a lady that sells pure water i'm, I'm sure maybe people would have seen her she sells pure water only for her to come and ask one other lady for change she said that the lady had 1000 1, naira notes and she was like ah, ah, madam this is your business the boomer next thing she went to borrow money to do that same business and that same business was food business she said selling food business close to the woman no, she was not selling and the woman was selling everything so she now had to send somebody to go and buy to go and buy at least let me know what this woman is selling like let me taste her food i know why it's different from my own food and then wait for the person to go and bring the person the other woman was selling weed and all of that you see that's comparison like you're comparing yourself with people that you're not supposed to compare yourself with yes understand the aspect of comparing yourself to know where you are there's positive comparison and there's negative comparison negative comparison when you start comparing yourself and giving affecting your mental state my sister my brother i think you need to cut it off a third one is spend quality time with friends and family see yeah, this is i think this particular quote or this particular um thing is really underrated um especially for me like i'm one person that i know i'm very terrible with calls like i find it difficult to call people i know my friends have complained uh, my family have complained and all of that see as far as i just know i like let's say for instance i call my mother and my mother say my brother is fine 
that is it i call my brother and my mother say she, and my brother say my father is fine i might i might not call my father because i know he's fine unless maybe okay well, yes it's been a very very long time and most times they're the ones actually calling me so i know i'm very bad like that when it comes to call so there's nothing as good as spending time with your family and friends see you need them it's not only when you need pro when you have a problem you go to them you need to start building that relationship with your family and friends see your family and friends that are going to give you that connection as well it's your family and friends that will help you do certain things in life that will help you is work is the whole stress like sometimes the stress of the world can be something else but you need your family and friend that will help you calm your head down so the fourth one is stop discussing your personal life with every dick and harry hey i don't know how to say this yeah i think i did a video i don't know i think two videos before this or three videos i can't even remember of the lady that went to tell her friends that she got scholarship in to, to study in paris and then her friends poisoned her it's not everything you tell your friends <laughs> it is not everything you open your mouth and tell your friends there are some things you keep quiet even your family members it's not everything you tell your family members you wait for it to mature first before you tell them so try as much as possible to curtail what you share to the public what you share to your friends because it's not everybody that smiles it's not everybody that call your friends are actually your friends you get you get it so my fifth point is polish your skills and don't let people take advantage of it if you're a tailor tailor well <laughs> if you're a police police well um what else again if you're a teacher teach well see any skill you have in this current economy see you need to go and sharpen that skill very well see if you know how to bid before now go and learn how to bid on top of even if it is even if it means beating on top of hair go and learn how to beat on top of hair polish your skill look for other branches or other yeah other branches of your of your field and try and learn it you know every field has various branches so as much as possible try and diversify look for a skill and learn like you cannot rely on just um your salary and all of that you have to diversify look for something and learn it is very important in the year 2022 the economy is crazy it's not just in nigeria worldwide the economy is getting crazy like there is no money anywhere the economy is you know so try and polish your skills the next one polish your skills and if you and learn a skill if that is if that makes sense learn a skill if you've not learned a skill at this point now if you don't have the skill that you're doing if you don't have handwork hey i'm sorry yo. the sixth one is make your rules and set the boundaries make your rules and set the boundaries. see if you don't set boundaries people will push you like left right center right, right. you'll be like a leather bag that once a vehicle passes it's you just fly here another vehicle pass you fly next another vehicle passes that is how you just be so you need to set your rules my rules is that from seven o'clock to eight o'clock oh my god yeah nigeria will frustrate you like Nigeria will frustrate the living daylight out of you. Like, they've taken light. And the truth is, I don't have power to go on the journey. I'm the only one at home. I am scared of going out at night, like, alone. So, that generator will be like that. <laughs> it's not going to be turned on. Unless, maybe, the security man goes turn on the generator. But far from that, we're going to continue our video. That Nigeria, Nigeria actually frustrates you. So let me just finish up quickly before other people turn on gen and their own gen and then this place becomes very nice. So I was at point number six. Make your own rules and set your boundaries. If you don't, people will just toss you about left, right, center and hey, you will not even have a bearing for yourself. So set that rule. Seven o'clock to nine o'clock, I'm going to shoot a video and, and stick to it nine o'clock to ten o'clock hour to read and all of that you get you just get what i'm about to do. like this like it took has actually but I have to I have to push if i don't do this video this had this see yeah, it's this kind of things actually that are making me not consistent in my pushing out videos and i have to be consistent from now onwards anyhow we move so the seventh point is stop wasting your time on social movie on social media movies and games i'm very guilty of this like of late I have been spending my time on Netflix. 
Have you watched Dynasty? I've watched Dynasty, but funny enough, I think I watched it how many years ago, but now I am watching it again and it's like I've not watched it before. Like Dynasty has kept me glued to my television. Like I'm tired. I've said it. Once I finish Dynasty, I'm not watching any other series again because this is what series does to me. I'm not a person that loves television. Once I start watching one series, it just gets to me. Like I just get so used to it and I don't want to stop. So right now, what is keeping me so glued now is Dynasty, and then there's something called Gomora. It's a South African series. I don't know if you watch. If you watch Gomora, let me just know in the comment section as well. South African series. It's really interesting. But I don't just like the fact that they're actually dragging it. That's for Gomora. They're actually dragging it, and I don't like it. Like my Tati, Tati. <laughs> so um, spend less time on social media, on games. Also, another thing again that keeps me very, very glued to my screen is Candy Crush. Like, it's that bad with Candy Crush that once my lives have ended, I go to my time and change the time. Like, so that I can get an extra life. That's how bad it is with Candy Crush. So, as much as possible, try and cut all of that so that, hey, you would, you would, you would achieve some of the goals you've set for yourself. Because imagine spending four hours, five hours on movies and Candy Crush. That is some time, that is a time that you can use and learn a skill. But you're watching movie, movie that might not be beneficial to your life. Can you crush that might not be beneficial to your life? See, the thing is that you just have to set your priorities straight. Watching movie is very good. It's, you can't, you can't um, put your whole self in trying to walk and all of that. It's all work and no play makes what? Jack a doll boy. Is it Jack a doll boy or whatever? So the my last point is stop worrying about what people will say. This is my biggest problem in life. What people will say. I am that person that wants perfection. Like I'm perfection should be my my name. Like I know it's a bad thing. Perfection should be no one's name. It's only God that is perfect. But that is just me. You know, uh, me before as if taking this light, this video has ended. Like Yes, I won't post any video, but you know what? We are going to go. Anyhow, I want to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't care what people say. I don't care the rules that people have set on social media or on YouTube saying, oh, your videos have to be this. Your videos have to be crisp. Your video has to be, your speaker, your, your voice has to be this. It's a lie. This is what I have and this is what I'm going to go with. So I do not care what people say for my YouTube. I do not care what people say concerning my business. I'm going to do me and I know what, you know what? The whole world will adjust to it. Because I am unique in my own way. So let me know what you think in the comment section. What are the points or what are the things you think you need to improve on yourself the remaining part of 2022? Let me know in the comment section. So these are my eight things or these are the eight points I intend to improve in this many part of 2022. So I'll see you all later. Big brother is coming. Big brother is coming. So I'll see you all later and bye.